guys it's Alina and if you're new here welcome today I'm going to be talking about my skincare routine especially now that we're wearing masks I've had to completely change my skincare routine I'm gonna be going over some of my tips for clearing sensitive skin also the products that I use on a weekly slash daily basis so the way that I'm going to set up this video is that I'm going to start off by giving a background on my skin and then I'm going to go through the three different routines that I do throughout the week. I do three different routines mainly because I have a lot of actives in my routine. Actives are like salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, and also um, retinols and things like that that you can't mix. So I have three different routines that I use throughout the week and that's how I'm going to go about it, alright? So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I'm going to start off by talking about my skin. So prior to the pandemic, my skin was never really that bad. I only ever had like congestion on my forehead. That was always the main place that I always had a lot of pimples. The bottom half of my face was always clear for the most part, even when I was going through puberty. But I always just had congestion in my forehead. But um, now that the pandemic started back in April, I ended up developing a ton of skin problems on my face from wearing the mask and my skin not being used to those changes. So not only now that I had congestion on my forehead, I also had pimples all the way up here, which is where the mask sits. Also on the surface of my cheeks because of the moisture and all of like the the air getting trapped inside of your skin it was also causing pimples on the surface of my cheeks and a little bit of irritation on my chin and on top of that i also developed seborrheic dermatitis which i had never had before i've always had I've, I've experienced many different types of dermatitis. I just have very sensitive skin and I'm allergic to a lot of things. Separated dermatitis is kind of like a it's kind of like a dermatitis based off of yeast. So there's like an overgrowth of yeast in the face. In people that have pale skin, the seborrheic dermatitis is going to just look like flakes, red flakes on your face. But for people that are my skin tone, it's kind of more like dry white spots. So not only was I dealing with acne, but I was also dealing with these white spots all over my face. And I think I have some pictures. If I have them still, I'll insert them here. But I had white spots all over my face and also on my forehead. I developed like this huge white spot right here. And it was like that for probably about three months. So this routine, I had to develop it. It took me all of this time, probably until September, from April until September, I took a break because I was trying to figure out what to do with my skin. So by September, I had figured out absolutely everything, how to clear my skin. It did take a few months after I figured out the routine, but it's definitely cleared up a ton. So I classify my skin as sensitive and oily mainly in my forehead it's sensitive all over but my forehead has an excessive amount of oil i don't know why it's like that but it's really just my forehead and then it's also prone to dermatitis one of my eyelids is significantly darker than the other one and it's because i have had eyelid dermatitis pretty much all throughout my life and it's caused a lot of discoloration so i have eyelid dermatitis perioral dermatitis which is when it comes it's like a ring that happens around your mouth usually mine is just up here in this area but i have dermatitis there and then now I also have seborrheic dermatitis so that's a quick summary of my skin and now I'm gonna get into the products if you see me looking down I do have my notes here of like the routines just so I don't forget anything I'm going to start off with when the oh actually let me also show you what my skin looks like now I'm not wearing any makeup today, just my eyebrows and my eyelashes. I don't have like an extra um, lens, so I don't. there's no filter on my lens either. But my skin, as you can see, is pretty clear. I still have just a little bit of congestion in my forehead, which I think at this point is just attributed to my diet, not really because of the acne, but I really like how it looks. All right, so I'm gonna start off with um, Wednesday and Saturday. So on Wednesday and Saturday in the morning, well every day in the morning, this is the cleanser that I use. This is the Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. I love this. It's free of dyes, fragrance, masking fragrance, linoleum, parabens, formaldehyde, and other preservatives. So it's basically impossible to be allergic to anything from the Vanna Cream line. So for me that I have a lot of allergies, a product like this is amazing for my skin. I use this every day twice a day, doesn't matter what day of the week it is. 
and then after I get out of the shower I use either a towel or a tissue doesn't really matter as long as you're washing your towel frequently then um, I go in with this hyaluronic acid this is the ordinary hyaluronic acid and vitamin b5 so this is really why my face is so glowy I use this twice a day I use three drops I use one here one here and then one on my forehead you spread it as quickly as you can because it dries super fast so if you don't spread it to where you need to spread it fast enough like it's gonna dry and then you're gonna have to apply more but a little goes a long way so you spread it out and then you want to like press it into the skin and then the last thing that I use is the Vanna Cream Moisturizing Cream for sensitive skin. It says the exact same thing as the Gentle Facial Cleanser, that it's free of literally everything. When you have skin that has dermatitis, basically your skin has a problem retaining moisture. So using a thicker cream like this really helps my skin to retain the moisture more throughout the day and it also adds glow. Like this together, 10 out of 10. So in the afternoon on Wednesday and Saturday, I go in and I do a double cleanse. My dermatologist recommended that I use benzoyl peroxide twice a week. She initially recommended me the Neutrogena one, but after reading the reviews, I found that it was absolutely awful for people that have sensitive skin. So I ended up opting for this one. This is the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser with 4% benzoyl peroxide acne treatment. This, you can literally purchase it. I bought mine at Walmart, but they also sell it at Target. And I think it's about like 10 to 13 dollars around there, but it says that it clears the acne pimples and blackheads, helps prevent new acne and allows the skin to heal, maintains the skin barrier and leaves the skin feeling comfortable. And it also has three essential ceramides, hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. So I found that this helped the most at the start with the mask knee because since it is for whiteheads and stuff like that, I started seeing pimples disappearing right away as soon as i started using this product which is why i liked it so much but i was still only using it twice a week and even once you're starting to use this product you want to be slow with it because benzoyl peroxide can be very irritating for certain um people for me personally it, i didn't find it to be irritating at all only because i like i spread it enough like i built up to where i needed to be basically so i started off by using it only once a week made sure my skin liked it and then i started to build up a little bit more after i get out of work at night time i do a double cleanse so i use the vena cream cleanser first and then i go in with this while i'm in the shower the key to this is that you want to leave it on for three to five minutes before you rinse it off so i'll wash my face first with the vena cream and then I'll put this on, leave it, spread it all across my face, leave it on while I'm washing the rest of my body. It'll take like three to five minutes and then I rinse it off. So it does already have hyaluronic acid and niacinamide in it, but afterwards I go in with the hyaluronic acid again when I get out of the shower and then also the moisturizing cream. Same concepts and I will also put all of these in the descriptions, like all of the routines because I know that it can be a little bit confusing and i truly my personal recommendation is that if you have sensitive skin cerave is a brand for sensitive skin but benzoyl peroxide is very very strong so if you do have sensitive skin i truly don't recommend you to use it more than twice a week there are some people that their skin can tolerate it people that have normal combination and oily skin can tolerate to use benzoyl peroxide every single day some people use it even twice a day but for people that have sensitive skin Two to three times a week should be your maximum. The next routine that I'm going to go into is Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. So these are basically all the days that I have church. That's really the only way that I could remember to do this. So in the afternoon, I use the exact same products, the Vanna Cream Gentle Cleanser, the Hyaluronic Acid, and the Vanna Cream Moisturizer. The only thing that I add that is different for the evening routine on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays is my bestie the king of everything this is tretinoin i use the 0.025 percent this has completely saved my life saved my skin saved my sanity like it just fixed so many problems that i was having on my skin it is my favorite product that i use right now i'm pretty sure that i started using it I started using it either in September or October and that was after completing like a two month course on different. 
So this is a little bit stronger than different because the different wasn't really working for me. So I can make a whole separate video about how to use Tretinoin because it can really make or break your skin if you don't use it properly. But I'll be sure to link some videos down below in the meantime that I watched when I had when I was first prescribed Tretinoin. I watched these videos to figure out what was the best way to introduce it to my sensitive skin. So the main thing, um, I use this three times a week, like I said, but initially it took me about a month to build up using it three times a week. Tretinoin is a pretty strong retinol and it's like a vitamin A derivative that basically speeds up the regeneration of the skin cells and the um, cell turnover in your skin. So it basically like slaws off all of the dead skin cells that are on your face by speeding up the recovery process or whatever. So as soon as I started using this, probably it takes up to six months for some people to get the full effect. But for me, probably after I use it like three or four times, all of my mask me basically disappeared after I used it three or four times and then my um my all the texture, the additional texture that I had on my skin also began to disappear. So I ended up um, clearing the majority of my whiteheads and it also helps with your skin texture. That is why my skin looks so soft and smooth now. It's because of the tretinoin. So I use it three times a week now. You want to make sure that you don't mix tretinoin with any other products. And this is also another reason why I have to spread my things out to every other day, every three days. It's mainly because of the tretinoin. Because if you mix this with like benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid, it can cause so much irritation that you don't even know. So my last routine, these are called, I call these my reset days. These are Monday and Friday. So these are both of the days that I'm not using either tretinoin or benzoyl peroxide. So it's a day that my skin just gets to rest and recuperate from all of the acids that I have been applying on my face to try to help my acne. If you do too many of these things in a row and you don't give your skin a break, you're making room for more irritation, more breakouts, and so many other things that you don't want to deal with. Also discoloration. That can also happen with some of these products if you don't protect yourself well or if you're not smart about how you organize your routine. So in the morning, the exact same routine that I've been using this entire time, the Vanna Cream Gentle Cleanser, the Hyaluronic Acid, and the Vanna Cream Moisturizer. Sometimes on these days, I will use this salicylic acid. This is the Paula's Choice 2% uh, BHA liquid exfoliant salicylic acid, as I've just said. Sometimes I will use this Monday and Friday because this helps a lot with seborrheic dermatitis and the dryness that's caused by it. Also helps to control the yeast on your face. So sometimes I use this once a week, sometimes no times a week. It just depends on how my skin is feeling, how it's looking. But I think that it helps a lot also, like in combination with the other products. If I do use it once a week, it does help to like even out my skin even more than what it already is. So I do like this, but I don't use it all the time. So this will be just Monday or Friday. And then um, in the afternoon, I will use the Vanna Cream Gentle Cleanser, the Hyaluronic Acid, and the Moisturizer. And then also Monday and Friday, I also sometimes use the, I don't have it with me, but the Essentially Hados Hello Sunshine Antidoxins. It kind of works the same as this. I use it either one time a week or no times a week. I'm not going to talk about um, that mask again because I already talked about it in my end of semester skincare video. So if you want to hear about that mask, you can go ahead and watch that video. But that's the only face mask that I use on my face, realistically. I'm really satisfied with my skin right now. Pretty much the only problems that I'm still dealing with is obviously a little tiny bit of texture. Almost nothing on this area here. Obviously, it's going to be almost inevitable because of wearing the mask. So I have a little bit of texture here and I'm also still dealing with those white spots. And those white spots are also the main reason that when I'm doing my makeup videos, like the ones that I did last week, it looks like my foundation does not match my skin tone. And that is exactly why I have a lot of white spots on my, spa on my face, especially on my forehead. That is going to be it. The only other thing that I can suggest for you guys and remind you. Just because you have sensitive skin 
does not mean that you cannot use actives in your routine. And that was really where I went wrong for so many years. I thought that because I had sensitive skin that I couldn't use salicylic acid, that I couldn't use benzoyl peroxide, that I couldn't use a retinol. But these products sometimes, well most of the time, are the only things that work to clear acne. It is very rare that people are able to clear their acne just by changing their diet. That works for some people. I personally tried to cut out milk, I tried to change a lot of things, and my skin still looked exactly the same. Clearing acne takes time. I have been dealing with this since April of 2020. I didn't figure out my routine until September of 2020. And my skin has not seen the full effects of all of these products until January of 2021. So it's been a very, very long journey and you just have to be patient. I trust that I'm going to continue with this routine and that I'll continue to see a lot more changes in my skin and I'm really excited to see where it's going to go. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and that you use some of these products. If you do, please let me know in the comments. I want to hear what you guys think about them. And also if you have any questions, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not a doctor but i can advise you as best as i can based on what i have learned from watching hiram from watching dr dre and from watching the style and beauty doctor i think is her youtube channel so if you have any questions you can go ahead and ask them down below additionally if you guys want me to do this routine i thought it would be easier to just sit down but if you guys want me to film a video of me actually going through this routine monday through sunday so you can actually see how i apply these products please let me know in the comments because i don't know if that's something that you guys would be interested in thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below what's next and subscribe to my channel subscribe and down below along with all of my social media links my instagram my twitter my vseo and my spotify and i will see you guys next week